Bear Candy Swap Alice and Bob have a list of candies. For example, in Alice's first box, she has one candy. And similar, in Bob's first box, he has two candies. They would like to exchange one box of candy each, such that they have the same total amount of candy. We turn an array where the first element is the number of candies in the box that Alice must exchange, and the second element is the number of candies in the box that Bob must exchange. Consider this new example. Alice can swap her box containing one candy with Bob's box containing two candies. This swap results in Alice and Bob having the same amount of total candies. So we return the number of candies that Alice swapped and the number of candies that Bob swapped. And finally, consider this last example. Alice can swap her box containing two candies with Bob's box containing three candies. This swap results in Alice and Bob having the same amount of total candies. So we return the number of candies that Alice swapped and the number of candies that Bob swapped. We will solve this in O of the length of Alice and Bob's list. Consider this example. We need to find an X in Alice's list and a Y in Bob's list to swap. In other words, if we take the sum of Alice's array and subtract X and add Y, it must equal the sum of Bob's list, subtracting y and adding x. And simplifying this equation and solving for x and y, we get the following. And solving for y, we get the following equation. So all we need to do now is convert Bob's list into a set. We can then iterate through Alice's list. We can fix x and calculate y. In this case, x is 1, the sum of a is 8, and the sum of b is 6. This results in 0, and we check if 0 is in Bob's set. In this case, it's not, so we move on and check the next element in Alice's list. We calculate the equation for y. It equals 1. We check if 1 is in Bob's set, and once again, it's not, so we continue and check the next element in Alice's list. We calculate the equation for y. It equals 4 and we check if 4 is in Bob's set. In this case, it is. And so finally, we found two numbers we need to swap to have the same number of total candies. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.